Hey guys, this is Kurt from Parade the Gospel, and welcome back to another Weird to Leave Gospel Tracks video. So right now I'm spending some time with the family, four of my kids. My wife is at home with the youngest one. We're just bowling, having a good time here. But I got my Gospel Tracks as always. You want to make sure you always carry those on you. So for this first clip, I wanted to talk about this real briefly. Something special. So I particularly chose this verse, Psalm 1611, because it has the word joy in it. And I just read that Bible verse. It's very, very good. So then I wrote later on, find joy in, because why? This ball right here has a small story. Uh, I used to be in youth league here at the Bowling Alley Manitowoc, uh, 1999, several other years too, but 1999 in particular. And before I had my own ball, I used this ball all the time, this exact one right here. I called it my lucky ball. Obviously, I don't believe in luck, but that's beside the point. I use this ball right here. So I'm going to wrap or uh, put this inside here. I'm going to fold it up. This is a Gospel Track from Gospel Track Planet. I got the Fully Free Films website on the bottom where you can go and check out some awesome videos on some gospel presentation stuff. So, so what you can do when you are out bowling somewhere is take your million-dollar bill Gospel Track and conveniently slide it into the hole right there. So when someone grabs joy, they're going to get some joy. I wanted to mention real quick too that my salvation story is wrapped up when I was in Youth League in 1999. It's a long story, I have to get into that, but it basically set the course uh, for me ending up in jail the next year in juvenile detention because I learned something from one of the fellow teammates, uh, how to do something, make a bomb basically, and there's a whole story wrapped up in that. But my first night in juvenile detention is when I heard the gospel message. But I just wanted to share that. It was that night when I received true joy in the Lord and the gospel of Jesus Christ. So awesome story. I'll have to share that sometime because I don't think I ever shared the totality of that story yet on my channel. But one of these days I will. Anyway, moving on to the next Where to Leave a Gospel Tract. And as a side note, as always, whenever you pay with cash, write down something like a website on the cash, and then somebody somewhere is going to get it, and it's going to keep on exchanging hands over and over again. We are about to leave, but I've got a few more. These are Ray Comfort's Million Dollar Bill Gospel Tracks. I've had them in my wallet for too long. i got to get rid of them, so we're going to okay. stuff them in a few more bowling balls. Where's the Donkey Kong one? Right here. DK Donkey Kong. So we bought this wall mount for a TV almost two years ago. Bought a brand new, never used it because we bought the wrong one. So what you can do, and right now we're trying to declutter, and we're selling a bunch of stuff, but when you sell stuff, you can leave the gospel tract inside of what you're selling, or just give it to the person, whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this gospel tract in here. We didn't sell it yet, but we're going to put it up online in a little bit. But you can slide it right in there somewhere. So then they're going to get the gospel tract when they come pick it up. All right, so we're at Hoo Hot right now. I'm trying really hard to finish my third plate. I'm trying super hard, but we're done. We had a great meal. And right here, as I keep talking about, this is our tip. We got a bunch of ones here and got some coinage over there as well. But on the backs of them, I wrote down, not this one, but all the other ones I wrote down, like needgod.com or 43 Films on the other ones. So do that as often as possible and get those babies out into the wild. But got this right here. I'm fold it up. And by the way, I have that circled right there and star. So we're gonna put that right inside there. Just like that. So when someone grabs a tissue next time, they're going to get a gospel tract. Also, I wanted to add with your tip, make sure you give a generous tip, and then you can also leave a gospel tract. And then also, something else that I learned is to clean up your area real well. Don't just leave it a huge mess, but be, um, I guess, respectful and just clean it up, make it look really nice, give a good large tip and the gospel tract. I'm going to put one in there in just a moment. But yeah, throw one of these babies in there. I gotta get this circled right here, the foyerfreefilms.com part as well. But always tip your servers real well and give them a gospel track. If you're at the gym, after a nice, strong, hard workout, empty locker, leave a gospel track in there when you leave. 
Say hi, everyone. We got the Siebel family, youngest to oldest. So we're back at the bowling alley about a week later. We got everybody now. And got another gospel tract. Same thing. And my joy ball right here. Look, the gospel tract is gone. So we're going to wrap that up. Stick it right in there. And set it aside. And someone's going to get a gospel tract. Okay, so we're just leaving the bowling alley. Gospel check right there. So this is something I wanted to do for a long time. I'll show you in just a moment, but we are out for a walk right now, taking the dog out. This trail is the other side of the trail to Washington Park where we live like right across the street from. It's a nice walking trail, but what I've done before is that, you know, being a curious person, I'm like, hey, this thing is loose right here. I wonder if you can pick it up, and sure enough, you can. And when you do so, you can put a gospel track in there. So if you guys are ever out somewhere and just have curiosity, right, because we're curious people, we do weird things, you know, we see, oh, can this be moved? Can you do something here with that or whatever? Get yourself a waterproof gospel tract, which is the Ten Commandment coin from Living Waters. And you can put it in something like that. I'm sure some kids at some point in time will pick this up once they realize, hey, this thing is loose. So, uh, let's see if I can do it with one arm. So put that right in there. Cover it back up. And someone, someday, is going to pick that up, see something shiny in there, and they're going to get the gospel tract. That's one reason why it's always good to have a waterproof tract like that. So if you're ever out somewhere, and you see somewhere you can hide the tract where you know at some point in time, even if it's not right away, where somebody's going to be at, put a gospel tract there. So as always, know where to leave gospel tracts video is complete without something to do with leaving gospel tracts in the bathroom. So we have this bathroom right over here, and I just picked up this gospel tract right here. It's got the fullyfilms.com. I circled it with a gel pen. I wrote down to the municipal workers, and then Chloe wrote free gift, and drew a little present right there. And on the other side, thank you for your service. I should have wrote down thanks a million for your service, but too late. Anyway, not one way it's a gospel tract. So what we're going to do... Now, right now, it's uh, towards the end of March. They don't open these bathrooms up until, I think, after Memorial Day. So we're going to slide this in there. And when they open this up, they're going to get a gospel tract. Oh, i got to push it in a little bit. The door. There we go. So someone's going to get a gospel tract. And guys, I just want to remind you that um, this is probably on the ninth or 10th Where to Leave Gospel Tracts videos. I do have a playlist of all of my Where to Leave Gospel Tracks videos. If you go to the playlist, there it is. I'll probably leave it down below in the comments for you to find. So check it out. And it's just to serve as a reminder of where you can leave gospel tracks as you're out in the ball. Here, here's a bonus one. Let's go right over here. I have another tract in my wallet. And... We're going to put it right on this table under here, so the rain's not going to get it. So we'll just leave that right there. I'm going to put something heavy on it, maybe a little stone if we can find one. I'll do it off camera so I don't waste your guys' time. But yeah, these videos are just to serve as a reminder. Just as you're out and about doing anything, you can leave a gospel tract somewhere. I mean, there's so many places. I have nine, ten videos now of doing this with a variety of different places. So please always just have gospel tracks on you and just be gospel minded. Look for those opportunities to leave a gospel tract somewhere. So there you go. It's probably a little bit of an overkill. <laughs> it's not going anywhere, but you want people to see it too. So we'll take a couple off maybe. So one more at the park here. I just ran home right across the street to pick up this gospel track. This one is more for kids. And this one again is from Living Waters. 
So I also got some scotch tape and we have this, it's not really a slide, it's like this little tunnel right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape this up on top to protect it from the weather. And then as someone is in there and they see that, they're gonna grab it and it won't damage because scotch tape isn't gonna like, you know, peel off the paper that much. So uh, hold on, I'll show you just a second. All right, let's go in. Hey, Chloe. Hi. Hey. All right, let's see, where should we put it? We'll put it just right up here. So, did it on the sides, and I have a little bit of bend in here, so they can easily kind of pull it off. There, perfect. And you just grab it, pull it down, just like that. So I'm sure I showed you guys this already in a previous Where to Leave Gospel Tracks video, but when you use an elevator. You know when the door opens, you have that little crack where you can drop something down there and it goes into the ele elevator shaft. Well, I did that a couple of years ago. I mean, I've been doing it since every now and then, but a couple of years ago in particular, I dropped this one down in the elevator shaft and I wrote it on the top there for the elevator guy. He sent me this email back saying, thanks a million. And I, sent, I replied to him saying, you know, you're welcome. It's great when you get the change. So anyway, I put my email, one of my email addresses on the bottom. So that's how he was able to email me. But uh, people do service elevator shafts. I mean, it's just a common thing. So um, I, I'm not sure like how much longer after I dropped that one down there, he got it because it was like several months later when I opened up my email, because um, I don't check this email very often. And I saw this email in there from several months back when I first checked it. And my computer shutting off on me again. This happens a lot. I had a friend of mine who's like a professional at fixing computers and he can't even figure out what this problem is, but it happens every now and then. Anyway, so and it just restarts like that all the time. So this is the gospel track to my favorite one, the Freedom Cache from Tracked Planet. And it's a custom one in that we added this bottom part. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. This is an older version of it. Um, well, this is one of them. We added a custom part with fully free films on it, but it's not this one. But that's this is the one that I did drop down the elevator shaft. Grabbed the wrong one, but oh well. Anyway, that is an option when you have your gospel tracks on you because you're always going to have gospel tracks on you, right? Stuff them in your wallet. When you're whenever you're in an elevator, make sure when no one's looking, just drop one down there and leave one in the elevator too for whoever you can write down for the elevator guy on there, like I did if you want, or you don't have to, whatever. But they do see them. Trust me, they do see them, like that one guy. So we are at the skate center here in Manitowoc and I've got a couple of places where to leave some tracks. So we got a photo booth here. Alright, now watch this. We're gonna put it in there. It's gonna spit it back out and then we just leave it right there. And next time someone comes in here to get some pictures, they're gonna get the gospel track. All right, so we are just packing up, getting ready to go. I got a IQ test gospel track right here. Pause the video and see if you can get this answered correctly. I'm not gonna give you the answer. But it opens up and it's got a gospel presentation inside. It's from Living Waters. Um, I'm gonna put that in the locker that we used. 222, very good number. Right in there. So next time somebody opens that up, we're gonna get a gospel tract. So you guys know how that at Subway they have those chip bags at the front. Well, that's another place where you can leave gospel tracts, and that's what we're gonna do in just a moment as I order the best sub in existence, the Kurt sub. That's right, Kurt stands for Creative, Uniquely, Ravishingly Tasty. I've been ordering this sub for years. It's a pizza sub. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. But uh, we're gonna go in here and, oh, I gotta get the gospel tracks. Don't forget your gospel tracks, and I'm ashamed to admit that I actually don't have any more gospel tracks in my wallet. So I know I have one in one of my Bibles here that I was using for a bookmark. Let's see, where is it? Well, here's one. I think I have one in here too. Oh, maybe not. Well, we'll use this one then. Thank you. Okay, well, they don't have the chip bags there anymore in the front, but they do here. You want to get some? Yeah. 
sun chips because the son of God. You get it? All right, let's go order the Kurt sub and the Chloe sub. <laughs> Do you want some chips? All right, pick what you want. And as always. All right, because I can't leave you guys hanging, I got to tell you about the Kurt sub. So, the Kurt sub is a foot long pizza sub on Italian urban cheese bread, toasted, and with pepper jack cheese. And then, and you have to do it in this order spinach, green pepper, extra onion. Tell them to put the whole onion on there if you can. And then, and then the herb garlic oil. And then, I don't usually do Parmesan, but sometimes I do, and then the oregano. Now, the Chloe sub, on the other hand, might as well call it the boring sub because all she does is put parmesan on there. Okay, what kind of bread? <laughs> well, it's the same thing. Everything else is the same, but you don't put anything fun on there. Except parmesan cheese. You gotta have like a whole the onion sauce and on there, then it's awesome. Toast. That's what What's this guy doing behind you? Huh, okay. Um, anyway, yeah, I, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll put, I'll bring like a little cup of raw garlic, raw chopped garlic. Mmm, like a bunch of it. That's good stuff. We call that the wife repellent because then she doesn't like to kiss me after that or even be by me. So I can't can't enjoy it as much as I used to. But yeah, that's the Kurt sub. But leave the gospel tract inside when, they, when you go to the subway or anywhere else. They used to have the chip bag thing like right in front. Maybe it's just this one or maybe it's because of coronavirus. I don't know. I but. Chips. Yep, you got some chips in there. And look at that one gospel track. It's awesome. I gotta stack up, stack up my wallet again. I can't believe I ran out. I think I used them all at the bowling alley yesterday. But there you go, you guys. Enjoy Kurt Sub next time you go to the subway. It is January 30th, 2021, and today is my grandma's funeral. So I'm gonna head over there in just a little bit. But there's probably a number of places where we can leave gospel tracks. I have the gospel track sample pack here from Living Waters. So basically one of each one of their tracks that they have, but I selected a few of them out to bring that I think might be appropriate for a funeral home. You see, people are going to be thinking about the issue of life and death at a funeral home, you would think. So I'm probably, I'm kind of leaning towards this one. I'll probably use multiple ones. If I can find a place to leave the gospel track, that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully we can find something, but these are all really good ones. All right, now that I have a moment, there's not really much places I can leave.
anything, but found something right here. So here's another one. So start stuffing away. Alright, keep getting distracted. Like I said, stuff them. And where else can we probably leave them? Left a couple more here. Put one in there too. 